This video is to demonstrate the amortization table um, with a financial calculator. So if we have a motivation question, for example, uh, you borrow $1,000 and you're going to repay in three years. Uh, first, we want to calculate the payment amount. Um, bef again, before you start each time value of money calculation, you want to go second, clear. And now $1,000, that is the present value, that is the amount of the loan principal. And uh, we have three years to pay off the loan when the interest rate is 10%. And we have zero future value, and we can compute the payment. This step actually is important because it helps to store the data into the calculator so it can perform the amortization analysis later. Now, we are going to take a look at the amortization table and see if we can get these results from the calculator. What you want to do is second amort and uh, the first thing you see P1 is 1. Uh, this is actually to ask when, uh, wh which year do you start with. So if we want to look at the interest payment for the first year, which is from the first year to the second, uh, to the first year, we leave P1 as 1, we leave P2 also as 1, and uh, we'll keep going. We'll see remaining balance about $698. That's the ending balance after one year or one payment in this case. And uh, our principal payment is 302, 302 principal payments. Our interest payment is $100. And together, 100 and 302, that makes the total payment of $402. And that would also bring down the balance to 698 after one payment. Now, if we go back to change P1 to 2, 2, enter, and P2 also 2, and enter. Now you see the balance now is the remaining balance after two years or two payments, and the uh, principal payment now is the 332 from the second payment. Well, the interest is only 69 or 70 dollars, which is here. The portion that goes to interest payment from your second payment of 402 dollars. Again, 70 and 332 together, that's your total payment at the second year, 402 dollars. But as you see from 100 to 70, the interest payment goes down. Well, the portion that goes to principal goes up. I want to show you one more. If you change P1 to 1, enter, leave, it, leave P2 as 2. Your balance is still the remaining balance after 2 years. Your principal amount now is 364, which is actually the first 2 years total principal payment. That is when you have your P1 as 1 and P2 as 2. So from the first year to the second year, total of 2 payments. Total principal payments of the 2 years. Similarly, for the interest, a total of $170, that is total interest payment from the first year to the second year as defined by P1 and P2 together.